Hello viewers. Welcome back to my channel for another unboxing video. This month we're doing something a little different. This is the Reveal Book Box, the subscription box for lovers of romance novels. They also have one that is for children's books, just in case you would prefer to receive a monthly subscription of children's books. So there are a few different options as far as subscription boxes from the Reveal Book Box Company. There's one where you get one book for like 13 bucks, or one where you get two for like 25 and I think the four book one is like $40, but I got the two book box for $25.99. There is shipping on top of that. I found a $5 off your first box coupon, so Google that if you want a discount. It comes in a bright, bright pink box. But, you know, it doesn't say romance on it anywhere. Uh, I'm excited to see what's in here. I don't know about you, but let's open this up and see what's inside. So right inside we have this hot pink tissue paper and a peel and reveal sticker. Although it's not, it's not peeling very easily. Or it just rips the tissue paper. That's what it looks like inside there. So this box not only comes with two books, it comes with like a whole bunch of book swag and a candle cross scented candle with a 20% off your next purchase coupon. This one is mimosa and mandarin. And then we have these rainbow candies. Kind of like starlight mints but rainbowy. They don't smell minty. I don't I don't know what those are going to taste like. And we've got this keychain here with this very sexy picture on the front and Shayla Black has this cool little notepad. Looks like something that you would find in a hotel but uh, but it's got a really nice design on it. Straight up Irish and there's a pretty hot guy on here with a glass of whiskey that's just my type. You can always use more bookmarks, and this is a pretty cool one. I'll probably use that all the time. All right. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I got a postcard for needing him. Uh, this is very revealing here. <laughs> this guy definitely manscapes. Kind of looks like a super buff, like, meatloaf guy. That's interesting. Okay, so he's like, he's wearing jeans and he's got a jean jacket around his shoulders. So at one point, I think he was wearing a Canadian tuxedo. Pretty sure. Lane Martin flowered and sifted. Okay, so nothing really smutty on this one. Just kind of cool bookmark. It's good quality. <laughs> I love this. Uh, so this is a little door hanger and on the front it says don't bother me I'm enjoying a book and an adult juice box. And then if if you want to get a little more heated you could turn it around and it says seriously go the fuck away or this five pound box of wine is coming straight for your head. I wouldn't want to abuse <laughs> a good box of wine like that. I probably wouldn't chuck it at your head. Like maybe some shoes or something. Not the wine. But that is hilarious. <laughs> I do enjoy that. And I enjoy a good adult juice box. Lisa Shelby has this nice coloring card. Coloring is extremely therapeutic and can help generate wellness and mindfulness. Got like a shoe and a dragonfly and a cake pop and a camera, some high heels and stout little bumblebee. I'm not gonna lie, I do like to color. Here we have another postcard for Savor You. And then on the back, we have a award-winning cheesecake recipe. 
case you want to make some cheesecake while you're reading some smutty books, The Right Secret Right Here, Right Now by K.A. Lind. These books come signed by the author. I was just his best friend's little sister, but he was always more than that to me. After 12 years of pining over Patrick's easy smile, baby blues, and captivating charm, I decided to take matters into my own hands and completely blow my chance. Oh, that sounds accurate. Who knew a self-proclaimed man-whore would decide to be a gentleman the first time I'm naked in his bed? Definitely not me, but when I land there again, neither of us has any intention of stopping. There's only one problem. Nobody can know especially not my three older brothers. If they found out, all hell would break loose. So I'm willing to keep our secret because I want him right here, right now. There's a lot of dialogue in this book. All right, yeah, I'll read that. And the last thing in the box, Love and Ink by J.D. Hawkins. Her body is a canvas. Again, signed by the author. I'm a world-famous tattoo artist with a six-month waiting list. Everybody's begging me to put my ink on them. <laughs> so the last thing I expect is for Ash Carter to walk into my shop and blow me off. <laughs> I've spent the last seven years screwing half the women in the Northern Hemisphere, but nobody could come close to the girl I left behind. Really? Half the women in the Northern Hemisphere? I don't think that's possible. Uh, I mean, like physically, I don't think there's enough hours in the day to do that. But in order to protect her, I had to let her go. It was the biggest mistake of my life and now I'll do anything to get her back. It's been seven years since we last spoke Seven long years of trying to ignore the memory of her skin, her eyes, her incredible confidence. She's everything I remember. Still stubborn and feisty and sexy as hell. They say you should forgive and forget, but Ash can never forget what I did. And I can never forgive myself. She's left a permanent mark on my heart. But even if she takes me back, will we be able to overcome the past? Will we be able to move forward towards our future? One minute I'm working the crane at a junkyard making just enough for some canned beans and cheap whiskey surrounded by country music and bitter old men. The next I'm being invited to punk rock roller derbies and fancy nightclubs. Press up behind and bend her over the mattress, feeling the curve of her front, grabbing fistfuls of those... But this... Uh, this is... Uh, this is written from the perspective of the male. Usually they're always from the perspective of the female. So I think that's gonna be really interesting. And he requests that she uses a condom, which is good that he's using protection if he is screwing half of the women in the Northern Hemisphere. I think that's just common sense at that point. Well, that's all we have in the box today. So if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe below if you would like to watch more of my videos. I can't promise they're always going to be this racy. I hope everybody enjoys their adult juice boxes. We'll see you for the next video. Bye!